Sultan of India had a beautiful daughter, the Princess Nuranahar. Many young men sought the hand of this lovely young girl, but to no avail. The Sultan turned them all away. Only a prince could be worthy of my daughter. One day, three handsome princes arrived, each seeking Nuranahar as their bride. The Sultan spoke to them. I will decide upon one of you young men, but that one must please me with an unusual gift. I give each of you one week to find such a gift. Remember, it must be a very special present. They each took a different path as they went on their search. Prince Hussein wandered from village to village, but found nothing. Prince Ali hunted in many shops, but he saw no special gift. And Prince Ahmed could not uncover any prize, though he went to inventors and merchants. Finally, Prince Hussein was stopped by a ragged man who showed him a carpet. What good is that to me? Oh, sire, let me show you what this wonderful carpet can do. Just sit upon it and then make a wish as to where you would like to go. Prince Hussein sat very still. I wish to be on that mountaintop. The carpet lifted them swiftly to the very spot the prince had wished for. This magic carpet is a perfect gift. What is the price? Fifty pieces of gold, sire. So Prince Hussein thought he had the best gift. But Prince Ali had found a blind peddler selling a curious tube. Oh, great one, just wish to view a scene and you will see it in this tube. Uh, let me try. I wish to behold the pyramids of Egypt. It is true. I see them clearly. I would like to buy this as a gift to the Sultan. Prince Ali had a fine present indeed. Surely I will win the princess, he thought. Prince Ahmed was about to give up his search when a farmer showed him a golden apple. Good prince, this is a magic apple that will heal the sick and wounded. How can you prove this? Try touching that partly cut tree with the apple. When Prince Ahmed placed the golden apple next to the scarred tree, the wood and bark grew back in place. So Prince Ahmed bought the wonderful gift to take to the Sultan. At the appointed time, all three princes arrived at the palace with their presents. After seeing each gift demonstrated, the Sultan spoke. It will be hard to decide. First, I must tell you that the princess has been kidnapped by a robber king. The prince I select must be brave enough to rescue her. Prince Ahmed said with a frightened voice, <coughs> Sire, I, I am not a fighting man, so I must withdraw. Prince Ali lost interest too. I am not too well, your highness. I, I would not make a fitting husband for the princess. But Prince Hussein said, I love your daughter, sire. Allow me to search out her captors. Well said, young prince. Here, I give you the golden apple, the magic tube, and the flying carpet. Bring back my daughter, and she is yours. Seated on the carpet, Prince Hussein looked into the tube and wished to see the princess. The magic tube showed Princess Nuranahar in a robber tent, watched over by guards. Flying carpet, take me to the robber camp. Swiftly, it rose and sped out into the sky. Prince Hussein flew over rivers, lakes, mountains, and valleys. Then, as it grew dark, the desert seemed to speed by under him. At last, he could see the tents of the robbers down below, and the carpet carried him to the ground. Behind a tent, he wrapped the carpet about him and started to look for the princess. But guards seized him. What are you doing here? Oh, um, I've, I've come to see your chief. Then you must be a doctor we sent for to attend our leader. Yes. Yes, let me attend him. The prince found the robber chief very ill. You are dying, but I will cure you on one condition. That is, if you give me the captive princess. The sly old villain agreed, but did not promise not to recapture them when he was well. Prince Hussein spread out the carpet, set the tube down, and held out the golden apple. He touched the ailing chief, and at once strength surged through the robber. <laughs> well done, my friend. I would like that magic apple for my own. Guards, seize him! Prince Hussein grabbed Princess Naranahar and jumped on the carpet, wishing out loud, to the Sultan's palace. And away they went, leaving a startled band of thieves far behind. The Sultan received them joyously and carried out his promise. For the beautiful Naranahar married the brave Prince Hussein.